Hey everybody, welcome. You're watching At Home with James. Please welcome your host, it's James It is Wednesday, July the 6th, 2022. I am James, you are you, we are here for a very special surprise Wednesday episode of the show that won't go away. I said it on Monday. We are taking this show off the deep end. What does that mean? Back to Wednesdays, at least for this week. What else does that mean? I think you know what it means. It means it is the fifth installment of the Radio Shack retrospective, or as I call it, the joke that has gone too far. I said it, and I'll say it again. We are doing new and unusual things on this show. And after almost 380 episodes, you just heard the first and maybe last introduction in at-home history. How did it come about? Well, the man behind the voice, you know him, and I know him as Dave, a.k.a. David Kaufman. He said, jokingly and sarcastically, what if I do an intro for you? I said, let's do it, because we are experimenting. You might as well call this the lab, and I'm a mad scientist, because I have lost my mind. Why have I lost my mind? The fact that we continue to do Radio Shack commercial reviews. We are about 40 minutes into this video. I think we're going to get confirmation on that in just a few moments. I've estimated that it might take, after tonight, another five episodes to finish this. Now, if we break that down, that means if we only do one episode a week, we'll be done uh, towards the tail end of August. But if we sprinkle in weekday episodes, well, we might get through it early August. There's so much to cover. But before we do that, let's welcome uh, tonight's guest this evening. I mentioned him a couple moments ago, Dave Kaufman. Let's welcome back Raquel Belmonte to the show. Dave, Raquel, happy Wednesday to the both of you. Happy Wednesday. Glad to be back. Happy Raquel, Wednesday to you, James. So is this, Dave, are you doing kind of a Don Pardo? That was a bit of a Don Pardo, yeah. All right. I like it. Beautiful. Thank you. Raquel, <laughs> do you, can you do a Don Pardo impersonation? You're going to hate it. Both of you are going to hate it so much. Well, Here we go. Oh, yeah, let's nonsense. <laughs> Musical guest, Dave Kaufman, and your host, James McGee. I you thought that was a pretty that good was part. Great. It, oh, I wouldn't say great. I thought well, it was fun. I wouldn't fun. say great what either. Yeah. Dave, Dave that's fine either. for you to say. James, what was that? I said I would not say it's great. I wouldn't call it a great impersonation. Not bad, because, though. Hey, okay, I'll take it. I'll give it up. I'll take it. Well, Dave, let's hear yours again. Pardo. Please welcome musical guest, Stained, and your host. I don't recall Don Pardo ever asking people to please welcome the musical <laughs> guest in the intro to Saturday Night Live. This Maybe is a different back in the day. Gig. Oh. <laughs> oh, so he's this is Don Pardo this is, is a when different... I worked on Mad TV. Oh, right. Yeah, we forgot Don Pardo's uh, short run on Mad TV. Please, Raquel, let's, let, Artie let, Lang, Bobby let's hear. <laughs> You'll keep going. More. Um, Mo Collins. Mo Collins. Michael McDonald. Michael McDonald. Uh, uh, Andy Daly. Andy Daly. Wait. Andy Daly was on Mad TV. Yes. He sure was. How could how do you, how does one forget something like that? Raquel, there's only doctor. one way to redeem yourself. Oh no! You have to do another Don Pardo impersonation. No, James, I never thought you'd ask. That sounds I think like that a, was more that's a that's a Mr. Marley from A Christmas Carol. That's oh, what you've man. done. Spears. Yeah, there you go. Another another classic Mad TV. Will Dave Sasso. Yep. Oh, Will Sasso. I forgot about him, too. You know what? What's I think that, I'm that, in the wrong biz, guys. What about that one go. guy that he does in person? Frank Caliendo. Frank oh, Caliendo. Yeah. yeah. Live from New York, it's Mad TV. Hey. <laughs> this is the, uh, the, the Mandela Effect episode where Mad TV was in New York. Phil Lamar. <laughs> Did you pull it up? Did you pull up the Mad of TV? Of course he list? pulled it up. He's looking at another <laughs> monitor. He's literally <laughs> looking at another monitor. was on Mad TV. Is that possible, James? Maybe it's kind of like a guest. Sometimes they would have guests. Okay. Is Stephanie Weir from Mad TV? Yes, Stephanie is. Weir is from Mad That's TV. So. Amazing improviser. Uh, the guy who plays Morgan, Ike Barinholtz, he plays Morgan yep. on the Mindy Project. Uh, Keegan-Michael Key and Jordan Peele. 
Oh See, now we're God. getting into later days Mad TV. Yep. Now, if we were to do a Mad TV review, people would be excited, but we have to pull things back and get boring again for a second because this is the uh, fifth Radio Shack retrospective. Raquel, you haven't been here in a while. Things are new and unusual. I have to ask you, as I've been asking all of our guests who have popped by for the retrospective panels, do you have any memories of shopping at Radio Shack? Um, I don't have memories of shopping at them. However, there was a big one in in BC somewhere. I hate that. I can't remember, but I do remember the logo and I do remember it turned into a Best Buy. Okay. So that that's, was, uh, more of a that's Best pretty Buy interesting thing. because uh, earlier this week we were talking about how here we had reason to believe that the, be uh, excuse me, the Radio Shacks turned into the Source, which is another technology store. Okay, interesting. Now I'm now I, I am second guessing myself. I feel like there was a Radio Shack in Brentwood Mall, the town mall that was right next to my house. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna look it up. All Actually, right, no, too much work. <laughs> Man, this guy's good. <laughs> this James, so good. can I stop now, please? I never told you to continue. Okay. Thanks, what if you James, what if you uh, started doing cameos <laughs> as Don Pardo? <laughs> Oh, that's like sure, a thing. Yeah. Well, what, what would you want? 20 bucks, I'll say what you want. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably be like, bucks. oh, can, can you nice. wish my aunt uh, Marla happy birthday? Happy birthday, Marla, from your maybe, dead friend, Don Pardo. Maybe everyone who's at the party is kind of being announced as uh, kind of cast members, right? Oh, smart. Sure, yeah. Well, I got to do it. No, I'm not teeing you up. <laughs> it's, real, it's really not meant to tee you up. So I asked you if I could stop doing it. Yeah. Well, yeah, you don't have to ask me if you could stop doing a voice. Okay. Raquel, have you yeah. uh, found anything on your uh, research results? Oh, no, I didn't look. I don't know if you heard me say it's too much work. I'm not going to bother. But I, I believe I believe it was somewhere near me. But yeah, they turned into Best Buys. And I don't even know if we have a source. The source. Well, I feel like I'm going to tell you something. Just tell as uh, just as '90s band, Blessed Union of Souls once said, "I, might I be believe too young for that reference that love is the answer." And I love that we are here tonight to discuss Radio Shack commercials. Dave, we did some great work the other night, despite our episode getting uh, delayed right in the middle due to some some Zoom issues, as they like to say. Any thoughts coming out of Monday's episode? Things that you notice? Things you want to share? Well. I think we've uh, we've we started, you know, in the earlier commercials, all actual radios. Yeah, uh, that was like the '70s, I guess. Then it moved on to sort of more uh, computers. Uh, we're in the '80s, kind of now. A lot of computer commercials, a lot of Christmas commercials. Then last episode, we saw the first cell phone commercial with a big chunky cell phone and a car phone. And now things are getting '90s. The commercials are getting a little looser, a little bit more fun. So I'm yeah, I don't think we've officially. Involved. I don't think we've officially turned the corner into the '90s. We were, we're just 1989. on yeah. the '90s. Yeah, yeah, we're edging ourselves we're, we're, over to the '90s. We're edging to the '90s. You know, uh, grunge music is about to explode. I'm well, so two years before. away from grunge music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sure what I said? What'd you say? No, I said I'm about to be born. I was born in the 90s. Also, my very first commercial ever was for the Source at Circuit City. I'm an oh. idiot. Well, no, Raquel, you don't have to be so hard on yourself. Yeah, Raquel. Well, I'm Come a on. hot idiot. What does it matter? Well, let's get to yes, the commercials. Raquel. James! Well, before we get to the commercials, James, I thought oh. maybe we would review some of the... Uh, as we uh, have discussed on previous episodes, uh, Radio Shack has been purchased by a man named uh, Ty Lopez, mm -hmm. who is uh, of dodgy character... And he has given the account, I guess, to some sort of uh, ne'er do well who has been tweeting all sorts of, uh, I don't know what the word is, uh, salacious stuff from the account. Yep, yeah, it's it's it seems like something that would be posted from a parody account or even just someone who's really into to being a, a bit of a troll on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. so I'm gonna pull up the thing. And Let's see, see some of the tweets. See if there's any new good tweets from the account. So this is part of the new good tweets segment so, on the at home show so far he's into some sort of uh, beef with this guy uh, sagar from uh this political show breaking points i'm not sure what that's mm -hmm. about but let's uh go over that uh uh wing stop which is a wings place 
Uh, Radio Shack wrote, uh, Craving You Inside Me. So uh, that's kind of sexual. Mm. Uh, he posted, uh, somebody has this long singular dread, which you can see on the screen, and he posted, uh, she got Voldemort in that thing, which whatever. Yeah. Uh, then he's saying, uh, what is Y, what does W-Y-D stand for? What you Rick- doing? Yeah, yeah, so at Wendy's, what you doing, lol? So hitting on Wendy's. Hitting, hitting on Wendy's. Now, Raquel, have you ever received that text? Have you ever sent that text? W-Y-D. You ever send that to someone or receive it? All the time. Does it come with flirtatious connotations? Sometimes. Not the way I use it, though. Okay. Or you, have been using it. it. Like, what are you doing? That's it. Nice you and quick, still, you know? You're still writing like a youth. Boring. I'm trying. What do you mean, Boring. I think Dave wanted it to be salacious. I mean, I've used it salaciously, but the majority of times I've used it, it's been like... Live from Toronto. Boring. Oh, <laughs> this is the worst night of my life. I'm sorry, Rico. The, the ghost of Don Pardo took over there. I yeah, forgive yeah. What you. people didn't realize is Don Pardo was quite nasty yeah. to people. Yeah. Uh, I love Here it. he says, new Solana users getting their feet wet in the ecosystem. Now, Solana is a, a blockchain, and interestingly enough, uh, I met the guy who founded it. This guy, Anatoly. Not, nice guy. It's not interesting. Anatoly. Yeah. What a name. Yeah. What a name. I love life. that. Uh, next one is, uh, if you bitch slap someone in the comment section, but no one's there to see it, does it make a sound? I'll say no. Yeah. I'll say no, too. Anyway, that's, that's all the tweets uh, we caught up to last. Uh, all right, last episode. So, I have a question. Uh, yep. So, uh, um, was the handing over of the Radio Shack Twitter account a big deal, or was it like people just had to kind of guess what was going on? Uh, people had to guess what was going on because suddenly oh. this, you know, this brand that's been around forever uh, is now tweeting, uh, much like uh, our intern Devin on the show tweets. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And I would also say that, for the most part, Radio Shack has been a dead brand. I think most of the stores and franchises have been closed. So when Radio Shack reemerges with this uh, tone and this online presence, it uh, gets people talking. And yeah, yeah. look, it is it is the it is what has predicated all of these episodes. That's what started all of this. It's the top. How many? Of, how many of these episodes have happened? This is the fifth one. The fifth one. This is what the show is now. <laughs> yeah. And we're uh, just to correct James from earlier. We're fifty-one minutes in. Thank to you. A two-hour and five-minute video. So there will be oh. at least five more episodes. Oh yep. God. Well, depending on how long we go tonight. Now, Raquel, how do you feel? I'm confused. I feel gaslit. I don't know what's <laughs> happening. This is not the at home at with James that I knew and loved. No. Nope. Yep. I deserve nothing. <laughs> Let's turn yeah. this into Radio Shack. No, Let's we go. want we just as Radio Shack is reinventing itself. This show is reinventing itself, and you, much like a radio on a shelf at Radio Shack, or on a sh- on a in a shack. Yeah, in a shack. Mm-hmm. You are to a radio in a shack to this show. Useless? No. no. Raquel? Rusty? No. no. You well, use look. once in a while? It's broken? The I use my radio every of day. The store. Uh, you know what, Raquel? I'd say I'd well, say uh, reliable, useful. Let's get batteries to the Batteries not included. Yeah. And hot. Okay. And Let's coming in from the chat. Some commercials. Coming in from the uh, chat. Oh, I guess this, I thought this was for you, Raquel, but this says Rachel is precious. Yeah, yeah. So that's, uh, we're talking about uh, Rachel from Friends. Oh, or Rachel Dolezal. Yeah. Or Rachel Bilson. <laughs> oh, don't be her. There could be a lot of different Rachels, right? Yeah, yeah. A lot of Rachels. Rachel Did Maddow. You... Oh, yeah. Ra- Rachel McAdams. Oh. Rachel Ray. No, that's uh I forgot about her. Wait, is that her name? It's, Rachel Ray. Oh, it is Rachel Ray, yeah. yeah I thought a sec for when you when you challenged me yeah. on that, I was willing to acquiesce that point because I thought also it wasn't her name. All right. Well look, I think at the same time, Raquel, also precious. Let's get to some of these commercials, Raquel. We're so happy to have you as part of this new and exciting journey on the at home internet show. So you're Thank gonna, you. I'll you're let you know. Want how to, uh, 
turn watch on your device and turn your audio off because you'll hear through you know you know the drill i know the drill all right three two one Finally, a computer so easy to use, it really is a home computer. So easy to learn, it guarantees success. All I needed mm. was 15 minutes at Radio Shack with the Tandy 1000 RL, and I could really use this computer. The RL actually taught us how to use its 24 built-in home organizing solutions. Now the whole family enjoys using the RL to communicate and manage our everyday home activities. Come in today and spend 15 minutes that can change your life. Only at Radio Shack, America's technology store, creating new standards. Well, the first thing that stuck out to me is the lady was really lovely. She was quite lovely. And in she, fact, that's one of the things we're looking out for tonight is if there's a lovely lady in the commercials. Yeah. And the computer also had updated graphics. And I noticed that it wasn't called the TRS. It was called the, what was it? The Tandy 1000 RL. Yeah. I don't know. I couldn't get over the fact that that woman had to memorize so much copy. At first, because we have the delay, I thought it was a voiceover. I'm like, oh, that's good. Okay. It's still a lot of words. Mm -hmm. A woman memorized that nice lady that you guys saw and admire. She memorized a whole paragraph for this stupid. It's not stupid, but for this commercial. You can think it's stupid. We're here to talk about these commercials. I thought, I thought the commercial was absolutely fantastic. I like the graphics at the end too. Lasers I thought it again. was a little uh, chauvinist. And here's why. I felt mm -hmm. like the commercial was saying, look. This computer is so simple, even a woman can use it. No, oh. I understand why you would feel that way, but I think what they were essentially saying is it's an easy computer to learn. Yeah, maybe. What do you think, Raquel? I think that it was a power, like a powerful feminist commercial, and this is why I think so. The woman is in business. We're not even in the '90s yet. Women do mm -hmm. women have rights at this point? Probably not. No, but no, she no rights at all no rights she owns a business and she can run a computer to do her business on I'm and the tell you this helped her he works at radio shack please she makes more money than he ever will now there's nothing wrong with working at radio shack but i think this was a real feminist anthem for uh myself and the girls <laughs> yeah. and i i want i want to chime in here before we move on to the next one and say that she's got the right to remain lovely <laughs> I agree. All right, let's I feel like this has become a chauvinist Radio Shack commercial. Play the next one. Ah, finish. the ultimate audio video room. TV, VCR, stereo, CD player, video disc. But how do you know which remote control runs what? Well, relax, Romeo, because from now until December 24th, you can save $20 on this amazing Radio Shack Universal Remote Control. Just place it head-to-head -head with most infrared remote controls, press the matching buttons, and bingo! Combine up to four separate remotes into one. Now, isn't that just incredible? Wow, the first salacious Radio Shack commercial. <laughs> first time we've seen a universal remote item. We haven't seen that before. A bumbling doofus. Wow, that commercial really ended on a highly erotic note. <laughs> it just finished for me. Did did I miss something? The eroticism? Yeah, what would... <sighs> let's, let's, let's watch it again. Let's watch please, it again. Please, I can't... <sighs> This Can one I... comes with a, a, a TVM warning because this commercial gets steamy. Yeah, don't take your kids to the theater and watch this commercial. Yeah. Only at Radio Shack, America's technology store, creating new standards. Ah, the ultimate audio video room. Ah. TV, VCR, stereo, CD player, video disc. But how do you know which remote control runs what? Well, relax, Romeo, because from now until December 24th, you can save $20 on this amazing Radio Shack Universal Remote Control. Just place it head-to-head -head with most infrared remote controls, press the matching buttons, and bingo! Combine up to four separate remotes into one. Now, isn't that just incredible? I mean, it's very salacious. It is very salacious. This one's definitely, I think this is a maybe a mid to late 80s commercial because the guy's dressed up a little bit like um, a Miami Vice. I, I agree with that. Now, let, let me walk, let's walk through the narrative of this. Yeah. Uh, since you're a big narrative improv guy, James. Yeah. Uh, so in, the, the guy starts off with a problem, and that problem is he has too many remotes. 
And so he fumbles and bumbles and kind of makes an ass of himself in yeah. front of this. Knocks uh, his popcorn all over the place. Knocks his popcorn idiot. all over the place in front, of the, in front of this lady, right? Uh, who's a, a lovely lady. Yeah, she yeah she was lovely, yeah. And then he gets this universal remote, which uh, seems pretty convenient. And I had a couple of these universal remotes, and they never quite worked the way you wanted them to, but mm -hmm. they were good enough. And then uh, is he with the same lady, but they're all dressed up, or this is a new lady in a red dress? No, I think I think they both spice themselves up because she's so impressed with his organizational skills. He's got one remote that controls all of his Radio Shack uh, products. So she's rewarding basic like human skills with her well, he, body. But I, I, think I he, love he, it. He's Feminist also well dressed too. Number two. He's he's well, you know. Uh, uh, What's the uh, male equivalent of a feminist? A male list? A, mis a misogynist? No. <laughs> <laughs> what is you it? would say that. Oh, no. a, a men's activist. <laughs> yeah, men's rights activist. A men's activist. rights <laughs> activist. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah. so a she's a feminist and he's a men's uh, rights activist. And they're both confident in their own, you know, demeanor after they're so organized that they're ready yeah. to uh, mute the host of the commercial. And probably they're going to get it on. This is the original yeah, Netflix uh, and chill, I think. Yeah, I think so. Started here, Radio Shack. It began. It, 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 hey, hey, they did it first. Raquel, what question. do you think of this one? Well, look, let's chalk it up to tech issues. Uh, it was all over the place. I didn't realize they had muted so they can start fucking. I would have loved that. Raquel would have appreciated that. Uh, I'd so love you to think they could have gone today. a little further in the commercial? Of yeah. course. Of course. But it's not even that. I think technology can smarten up. Uh, Twitch is really fucking me over tonight. But uh, that remote was 60 bucks. We mm -hmm. all saw that, yeah? yeah? Yep. Is that normal? I think the back time. then, at the time, yeah. Back then, wasn't 60 bucks worth like $300? It was probably worth like $110. So he was rich. He's rich. Well, I want to I want to jump in here. Coming in from the chat from Naive Adventures, uh, they write, "She has white pantyhose with a red dress. Weird choice. I think at the time, much like the sixty dollar uh, remote control, that was a you know it could have been a Valentine's Day weekend. I, I thought like she was. Pantyhose. I thought she was absolutely vivacious. What is what is with you talking about women? That should be banned from the show. I know it's nice, but I don't like it. Raquel, we're talking about the commercial. <laughs> it's weird. Raquel, <laughs> you rather us ignore all the women in these commercials? No, of course as, not. As men's okay, rights activists. Okay, fine, you got me. I am a men's rights activist. Men's rights act. I can't even say it properly. Play the next clip. Yeah, this is one of the rare occasions in which we watched the same commercial twice. Let's oh, go to the next one. It... Yeah. The best stuff ever. Brought to you by Radio Shack. At Radio Shack, a helpful associate suggested a wireless network to stop my family from fighting over the computer. Whoa. New laptops. Plus a I'm going to pause this because my mind's being blown right now. Yeah, this is this is a hell of a jump. We, we... What are you guys seeing? I'm not seeing <laughs> anything. And I'm on Twitch. I have the whole voiceover that happens before a picture even comes on the screen. Yeah, now, Raquel, we, we told you that the audio would be delayed because the audio that you're hearing is from our production call. The video that you're seeing is what is going out to the people viewing the show. Oh, I'm so Twitch, everything, is, Twitch is on a delay. Everything that happens for us, the audience sees on a delay. So in a lot of ways, they're seeing the show from the past. Yeah. So what we're saying is just we're, now. We're time travelers, essentially. Yeah, they're about to hear for the first time. Yeah, so, I didn't ask for this. So what I'm saying right now, they're going to hear now. But I'm saying it now, but they're only hearing it <laughs> uh, now. And what Dave is what Dave is saying now, they will only hear then. So you have to listen to the audio, and then recognize that you're only going to see the visuals then. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Get in there, men's right activists. Get in there, guys. <laughs> Let's yeah. talk about this commercial. Uh, I have to say that I'm a little. I feel shocked that we have taken such a quick turn. To this is clearly the the 2000s. Yeah, so we're, we we skipped an entire decade at least. This might be the 2010s. Look at all those laptops. Yep. Okay, let's we'll we'll start the commercial fresh. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Brought to you by Radio Shack. At Radio Shack, a helpful associate suggested a wireless network to stop my family from fighting over the computer. New laptops, plus a printer and router, create a sharing spirit which emanates from our home, making it a place where all walks of life come together in harmony. And it all began with the help I got at Radio Shack. Now that's doing stuff. So their, I mean, it their was, new slogan is "Now that's doing stuff." It's 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 a big <laughs> departure because they. I don't think they're selling one specific item as much as they are selling the brand. No, there's a lot going on. Well, firstly, they're kind of promoting the idea that if you come to our store, you can set up a wireless network at your house. So mm -hmm. that's like, so that's probably like that's like a late 2010s thing to do almost. Yep. So I think that's roughly that's where I'm going to time the commercial. There's a lot going on. I don't like it. I don't like their newer vibe. Yeah. Well, I think they're trying to be competitive in the market. They're trying to be competitive. There's a lot going on. There's elephants, American elephants. Yeah. Didn't understand what was going on. And now their slogans, the what, we're doing stuff? Now, Raquel, it sounds like you're going to say something a little political here. Sorry. Isn't the elephant uh, an American symbol for one of the political parties? Yeah, so the Republicans are the elephants. Maybe it's a subliminal Trump ad. But, but this this commercial may have, and I suspect it did come out before the Republican Party was painted with such an evil brush. Well, they've always been evil since the days yeah. of yore. You know, George W. Bush, no one liked him. Sure, mm -hmm. but I think that that was more about his, uh, his war policies and things like that. I don't recall George W. Bush being painted in the same brush as, let's say, a Don, a Don Trump. Well, no one, no one. I mean, he was, Don, uh, Donald's a unique... A Lee, oh, uh, Don, divisive Don. person. Sure, Don. Don's a uniquely divisive person. Yeah. But uh, yeah, people hated. I mean, back in the day, people hated George W. Bush for his yeah. war stuff, but also because they he was like the son, his father's son, and people didn't like his father either. People yeah. really didn't like Reagan too. So we can go all the way back a long time uh, while the Republicans well, were hated. The one thing that it sounds like we can't agree on is that we didn't like this commercial. Raquel, what did you think Nixon, of this one? People didn't like Nixon. Um, I lost the Twitch stream. Um, you know, what Raquel, did I you think of the commercial? Your, you can use your computer as well. No, I don't want to. Well, I guess I could. Not that I don't want to. Don't give me that fucking face. No, I can't do that anymore. I got Botox a few weeks ago, and I can't oh, me do too. that anymore. That's what it looks like. I look like a I, I also got a Botox shot. David you did as well. Yeah. No, you, no, yeah, you Dave got the Moderna, and I got the Pfizer. Yeah. I have had enough of this. I got to go in for um, my booster soon. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I thought this commercial, yes, it was a big jump. I, it felt like we got kind of, we got pulled in. I was expecting maybe, I don't know, something in between. Do yeah. we know if something happened to Radio Shack in between then? Did the I think they're trying to, trying to re relaunch their, their brand. I think what happens is they are losing over time market dominance in the electronic section because uh, they're fighting against other big box retailers like your future shops in Canada, your best buys. Uh, your your uh, sources, which I don't think are the same thing, uh, but that's just a pet theory that I have. Okay, um, I like old laptops. I will say that I've always mm -hmm. wanted one. That made me uh, nostalgic for wanting an old laptop. Okay, yeah, and that's the thing we we've been going into a true time machine with these commercials. Let's let's go to the next one and see what they have in store. For I just state. realized something. This this uh, video is from 1970 to 2011. So 2011 is the last year that these commercials mm -hmm. could be filmed. Anyway, next commercial. Okay. Radio Shack, Canada's value leader in electronics, makes it easy to shop for Christmas gifts. There's a wide selection of cellular phones for calls on the go, or decorator and cordless phones for everyone. Personal computers for home or office, supported by our sales and service team. The latest VCRs and camcorders for Christmas memories, plus everything in stereo to enjoy the season sounds. Exciting electronic action toys and video games for kids of all ages. All at Radio Shack, Canada's value leader in electronics. So we've had a couple Canadian commercials, even some French ones sprinkled in. I really like this one. Again, I'm a fan of the Christmas commercials. The saxophone in the background, I really enjoyed. Also, the first appearance of a camcorder, if memory serves First camcorder, yeah. Uh, a wide array of elements here, too, but it had more heart, I found, this commercial, mm -hmm. versus their newer one. Yeah. Well, because they focus on a variety of items. It's fun for the whole family. Raquel, what did you think about that one, specifically the saxophone? 
I thought the saxophone was very sexy. Mm -hmm. I think this commercial was a little bit too sexy. There was a lot of kids. I feel like that's not appropriate to have uh, such a nice uh, meaty sax and a bunch of little kids. Well, what I think are you maybe, to do? Raquel, you're, try you're equating sax to sex a little bit too much. No, I don't think so. Dave, did you find that commercial sexy? I certainly didn't. Um, let me think. I mean, a guy did have a camcorder. <laughs> right, right, yeah. And, uh, camcorders were often used at that time to film sex acts. Yeah, exactly. And there was a but computer was... and that people watch porno. On Not that. at that time, though. People are watching porno since the dawn. Not on computers. Yeah. What are they watching it on? VCR? Yes. Of course. There was a VCR. There's some VCRs here. Yep. True. But not on computers. That's I would say it was a meaty sax. I would say that it was kid appropriate, though. I don't think that, you know, there are some things that uh, that might be, while it might be sexy to adults, can still be enjoyed by kids. And I think that yeah. that sax was one of those things. Yeah, like chocolate. Like chocolate, yeah. Yep. Or Great, let's go to the next cream. commercial. Yep. Bring that special someone joy with a Radio Jack Christmas toy. Be a DJ, nice. run your own show. With this mic, you'll rap like a pro. Magical toys you'll find to play. This hover buggy will take you away. There's Moby the Bank and dancing feet and walkie-talkies are really neat. Flying chocolate. So this commercial was cut off, it seems like. Well, this one, I think, was a commercial in a commercial. I don't know. I don't think. I don't think it was a commercial section. Do you think so? Well, the the screen of the Santa with the elves, and we'll touch on that in a second, goes into a TV and a little kid is watching it. One thing that we talked about last week that Mark did not enjoy, the casting of little kids as elves with the addition of beards. These kids had no beards, just normal kid elves. It's a better it's choice a as the artistic director of a commercial. Uh, not that I am, but if I were the artistic director of a commercial, I would also cast kids with no beards, I think. I, I thought I thought the beards were fun. It made them look a little bit more elfish. Okay. Raquel, what did you think about this fun Christmas ad, specifically the Santa? I thought he was absolutely heartwarming. I loved it. I thought this, I think this might be my favorite commercial ever. <laughs> ever? Yeah. More than, yep. more than, uh, what, uh... Yeah. This speaks okay. more to me. More than Bud Wiser. Bud Wiser. I think I'm too young for that. That's um, a good one. Ow. Well, what about any of the uh, Spuds McKenzie uh, Budweiser commercials? Who is even that? Spuds McKenzie that? was the Budweiser beer dog. No. Oh, Women now loved I, him. No, I like Santa. I like Christmas. So do I. I like. I loved how you pull out. Uh, and and the, there's a kid watching. That's TV. what I was saying. Yeah, I think that's that's genius. Is that when that whole thing started? When that camera trick started? Raquel, I'll tell you what. I've gone on record multiple times saying the Christmas commercials are my personal favorite so far. So it feels like you and I are back on the same page. I'm so glad know. to have us back. I think uh, <laughs> much like Orson Welles pioneered the sort of long focal length lens in Citizen Kane, I think Radio Shack pioneered the little kid watching TV pull out. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. A first of its kind we saw happening. Let's go to the next one. And I think it might be another Christmas commercial. It's Christmas and Radio Shack has great holiday values like this duophone answering machine on sale for $69.95. We can get our messages from anywhere. Honey, guess what? I was just at Radio Shack and they have that duophone cordless telephone I want on sale. Handsome guy. Paging, automatic redial for $59.95. Wow, Don't yeah. Bye. Thanks, Radio Shack. Great selection. $69.95 for voicemail? Wow, Raquel, you really are way behind it. I told you. Now, I, I agree with Dave. That guy was very handsome. Yeah. Very oh. handsome. And I think this one sends us back to the late 80s, early 90s. I think this is early 90s. And uh, you can- The use... hair was very 90s, very 90s yeah, hair. Yeah. I think this was early, you know, 91-ish. I was being born. Yeah, you were being born in the background of that commercial. Yeah. I was, and I hope, uh, no. <laughs> I, uh, no. Raquel, what did you think of the man? Beautiful. 
He was so hot. I saw him late, but it was worth the wait. Yeah. What a beautiful. I hope he had a wonderful commercial career. Sorry, though. He's spoken for. Yeah. He was on the phone with his wife who wanted the new, uh, I think it was, what is it, a cell phone or a, a cordless phone? Cordless phone, yeah. Hmm. Well, let's go to the next commercial. Is this in order? Or is this video just like commercials mixed up? It's all over the place. There's a general order, but it's all over the place. Okay. Sometimes. Oh wait, we're gonna have to rewind this commercial. I missed the beginning. This guy's talking very fast. Let's go back. That's why. Yeah, we got. We got. We got. We got, to, we got to back that ass up for a second. Okay. I'll do that. Consider that ass back. Now get 0% interest on all Tandy computer products until November 1st. No down payment and no payments until February 1992. Zero interest on this easy-to-use home organizer computer system with hard drive and color monitor, only $899.95. Zero interest on our special edition 20 megahertz 386SX system with 85 megabyte hard drive, mouse, modem, and software. So that one ended silently. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, this one confirms that we are officially in the 90s. We're in the 90s. They've started on uh, zero interest plans in order to uh, uh, add a little bit of affordability to these higher end systems. Uh, that hard drive had a whopping 85 megabytes, which uh, my hard drives these days are terabytes, which is, uh, I don't know, a million times bigger. Yeah. Uh, very, very interesting. Huh. Well, and I wonder if they go with the zero percent interest rate due to their competitors' prices, whether it's IBM, probably IBM at the time. Yeah, I don't know. It's probably to uh, make these ones not. You might uh, offer the same price, but you have now a pay later option on on a similar mm -hmm. priced object, so uh, people can uh, you know go paycheck to paycheck and afford one of these bad boys. Yeah. Raquel, what did you think of this one? Uh, well, I couldn't see much, but that guy's voiceover was chaos. How do you make your voice do that? It's possible they sped it up in post-production. I I believe it, but there were so many peaks and valleys that this man, this man took us on a journey with he's a just pro. his- That's the thing, he's a pro, you know? Where is he now? Do you think you could, uh, you could pull off that voice? No, and that's why I hate myself right now. I'm like, man, I'll never be what this radio shack Raquel, man was. But here's the thing: when we're doing these episodes, you can't you can't think about yourself in this one. You got to think about Radio Shack. I think why can't I put everybody at the forefront? I'm thinking about you. I'm thinking about Dave. I'm thinking. <laughs> oh, about I, I myself. think I de I definitely could have done the Radio Shack commercial. Raquel, you've got a huge it. heart, and you just like to consider everybody. Thank you. It's not that, that I'm but, selfish. Uh, I'm not self-absorbed. It's not that I want to talk about myself all the time. I'm thinking of everybody. Yeah. James, do it. I feel like you've got a good tone to do it. I don't. See, yeah, I think with a lot of these commercials, they had a male voice voiceover. I think if you give me the give me the the copy of put me in front of a microphone, I can do that. I'll just you just have to speak with a smile. Mm, Laura, I think he did more. It sounded listen, like he was like let's jumping. Let's listen to the beginning of the copy. Yeah. Now get zero percent interest on all Tandy computer products until November first. Okay, so can you do that now? Get zero percent interest on all Tandy computer products. Well, this is the thing: you can't copy somebody else's delivery. That's his voice. I could do an impression it, of this guy. Yeah, let's do hear it, it. Dave. Take us home. Mm -hmm. How did, what was the copy again? Well, let's, uh, let's listen oh, to it. Oh, I already forgot. Let's listen to it. Get zero percent interest on all Tandy computer. Now get zero percent interest on all Tandy computer products until. It wasn't very. That wasn't a very enthusiastic read. He's enthusiastic. Oh, yeah, but I wasn't doing the impression. Oh, here we go. Right. Now get zero percent interest on the Tandy computer products until um, uh, to, to 1992. You I would have been that it. man's competition, hands yeah. down. There God is bless. no competition anymore, Dave. This is the uh, second or third time you've done an impersonation of a read, and you really knock it out of the park every time. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. Wow. James, what's it like to be in competition vo vocally with your best friend? It isn't a competition when someone is so much more vastly talented than you. There you go. Hey, get in there. All of us. That, that's nice. That's Great. nice. Let's, Let's watch another commercial. commercial. Yeah, I love it. 
toys the night before Christmas. And all through their dreams, action-packed radio control toys from Radio Shack. The Black Phantom Off-Roader is super hot. The new 4x4 truck takes charge on the hills. You'll own the road with a jumbo turbo van. Blast off with the exciting Turbo Sonic Off-Roader. Radio Control Toys from 9.95 for dreams come true at Radio Shack America's Technology Store. What? America's Technology Store. Now I'm glad you're seeing that, Raquel. Dave, I think this is the first time we're hearing a consistent jingle. I agree. There's the intro and the outro, and they uh, they've used it for a few ones. I don't know how I feel about that uh, super turbo van. I like the van a lot. Yeah. I really enjoy the van. First time we've seen a remote control van. If, that one stops at all the kids and asks if it wants to get in. It felt like a, it was a Scooby-Doo van or something. I, I thought it was great. I thought the prices were very reasonable. Again, we're in the 90s. And again, the jingle really, yeah, it is great. You think it's a van I, that picks up kids? Well, I mean, it, it appeals to kids. I agree. It's, it's a kid trap. Yep. Um, Maybe if they had marketed it as that, they'd still be in business to this day. Oh, people love kid traps. Oh, yeah. I loved the prices. I thought that was good. We got something cheap. Maybe we're, you know, lowering our prices a little bit. Let's see if that's a consistent thing throughout the next few we watch. Well, one um, thing that we did notice is that the RC cars, we would notice it would often say in the commercials from $9.99 to like $49.99. So they come in a variety of prices. Sometimes it'd even be like $110. Yep. Oy. Did you guys have those little uh, remote control cars? I didn't. I didn't care about cars as a I, kid. I had one. I didn't really care about cars, but I did get one for Christmas. Uh, but I'm not sure if it was Radio Shack or if it was Canadian Tire. Nice. It's probably oh, yeah. Canadian Tire. Yeah, Canadian I think it tire. was Canadian Tire because I did see it in a Canadian Tire commercial. Hell yeah! Let's go check out this next one. It's the difference. It takes too long to learn to use a computer. Wrong. Deskmate yeah. makes the difference with graphics that guide you. <laughs> Learning new software is like starting over. Not now. Deskmate commands with different programs like Lotus Spreadsheet for Deskmate. A computer? I wouldn't know what to do. Now you will. Deskmate makes the difference. Deskmate is simple. Deskmate is computers. The friendly face in the PC crowd at Radio Shack and participating dealers. Ask my computers. No, you don't. That was the best voice acting I've ever, and real acting I've ever seen in my life. I'm too stupid to use a computer. You know, I, I, I will say that maybe they weren't, they weren't portrayed in the most intelligent of ways, but I thought both of the uh, women were quite lovely. <laughs> yeah. I'll agree. One of them had like a costume. It felt like a Saved by the Bell costume on. I, she, I think that. they were trying to do uh, different age ranges. Like yeah, anyone yeah. can learn this computer. But she still seemed a bit too old for her outfit. I loved that the voice person was interjecting and be like, no, uh, no, you fucking idiot. He may as well have called them that. But he was like in a nice way. He wasn't that condescending. But, but... he was also calling them smart. He was like, no, you idiot. You are smart. Yeah, it was, uh, it was encouraging, yeah. like a coach. And yeah. I think this is the first time we've seen the actors interacting with the, the, the voiceovers. Yeah, I, I love it. That. Commercials need to do that more. There, I said it. It's a hot take. I'll, I've got more of them. Right, let's check out the next commercial. Mm -hmm. Oh, dog. Oh, this guy's got a hangover. Ajoutez un peu de merveilleux au Noël de votre enfant avec oh. des jouets et des jeux électroniques de Radio Shack. Des en jeux français. pour le plaisir et pour l'éducation. L'action enlevante des jeux vidéo et la créativité géniale d'instruments musicaux. Il y a quelque chose pour tous à partir de 5,95. Jouets vendus séparément, piles non comprises. Radio Shack, il faut l'avoir sous l'arbre. OK, so the, uh, the van is in this commercial as well. Van's in this commercial. This kid's got a lot of toys. Yeah, you spoiled. accuse him of being hungover. Spoiled brat. Yeah, he started the commercial. I feel like his parents have gone missing. He starts the commercial, wakes up alone, and plays with a series of toys. I feel like it's that movie, uh, you ever see Blank Check? No, I have not. Well, in the movie, uh, a kid gets a blank check and he decides to write a million dollars on it. And then he uh, gets the million dollars and he builds like a roller coaster in his backyard and his parents aren't around. 
it's a waste of a million dollars. But let's get back to the commercial. Uh, again, another French one, right? It was Christmas based. Yeah. They talked about how the items that you can buy are both uh, fun as well as educational. You don't want to talk about blank check? Well, I mean, look, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to get into a movie review here because I think it might take us off course. You're right. You're right. I mean, I, I'd love to one day unpack why he built a roller coaster and how that turned out for him. Whose money was that? Did they get it back? But we can talk he about found that a, on He another found a episode. checkbook from a millionaire and the guy was like, you can write a check. He's expecting him to uh, only write like a 50 buck check, but he wrote a million dollars. Smart kid. I think this kid, though, speaking of kids, I think this kid's a sociopath. I bet this kid killed his parents. That's how smart. I think this is a spoiled brat. I think there's a reason why he has all these toys. I think there's a reason we don't see his parents. Okay, so this is an interesting take, Raquel, because you you dug in deep in a few of these. You found the, the saxophone was too sexy. Yeah. This one is a killer. Yeah. You're seeing things that maybe uh, Radio Shack wasn't intending to, but this is the whole purpose of uh, tonight's journey. Or were they intending this? And you guys are sheep, and I'm waking you up. All right. You don't agree? Well, I'm saying that it's an interesting uh, proposition. Dave, what do you think? I think it's an interesting proposition as well. To be honest, I wasn't fully paying attention. I was getting ready for the yeah. next commercial. Yeah, I yeah I noticed because I'm watching uh, I'm watching on Twitch now. And it looks like the framing, the commercials are now gone. Oh, sorry. Let's go back to that. I thought something happened because you started scratching your head. No. Usually, that's your your uh, your tell that you're stressed. No, not stressed. Raquel, do you have a stress tell? Dave's as he starts scratching himself. Oh, yeah, I have a few. I grind my teeth, I chew on the insides of my mouth, I pull my hair, I bite myself, I dig my nails into my legs. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay, well, let's get to the next commercial. All right. Yeah, on that note. From Walt Disney Pictures, this morning, Preston Waters got something. Who's on my bike? Get that check to your dad, he'll know what to do with it. That's going to change his life. Check. Yeah! No. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> 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 Meeting more women. Baby brother comes into his own and stopping three crooks. Yes, you kid. From taking all of his money. That was dark. Disney's blank check. Now playing at a theater near you. Check newspaper for showtimes. That was weird. Yeah, I... I wonder how that got into the compilation. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. And I think that they use an instrumental version of the song uh, Everybody Wang Chung tonight. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but I mean, luckily that was there because now you kind of understand uh, the movie that I was referencing. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we all understand each other a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. The second that I saw Walt Disney and not Radio Shack, I thought, hey, this is unusual. Yeah, it is unusual. Yeah, See, I, I almost believed you. I almost did. Sorry, continue. Well, maybe we should go and see the somebody. next commercial. Yeah, let's go to the next commercial. Why not? Radio Shack sale price compact disc players are showing. That's a, clean, that's a clean sound. This high-powered Optimus CD player fits any car. Under Debbie's pillow, with this portable CD, she can listen to music anywhere. Under our bookshelves, where we can all enjoy this Optimus programmable CD player with remote control. Put a sale-priced CD player under your tree this Christmas. Only at Radio Shack and there at this technology store. Nobody compares for Christmas shopping. So, first portable CD player commercial that we've seen. Yeah. Uh, my, my, my major gripe with this commercial is this guy bought three CD players for one family at Christmas. Uh, it's too many CD players. Well, yeah. yeah but, well, hold on. One of them was for home use. The other one was for portable use. And the other one was for the car. Yeah, but I'd rather get one CD player than get a bunch of other stuff. Or maybe some CDs. Well, it sounds like it was a gift for the entire family to share. They probably, if he's buying three CD players of different varieties, he's probably buying other gifts as well. I didn't Do we see know any that other for gifts. sure? No, we don't know. This is the thing. We're we're analyzing the behavior of a man that isn't real. But it was a, it was it was an outstanding home, which means he probably has a great income. Here, and this is why I'm upset he only bought CD players for his family for Christmas. I think if you have a nice home and you have money and you can afford three CD players, why don't you just get one well, and now, buy a bunch on. of other stuff? We saw a Christmas tree. Were there items under the tree? 
I didn't see anything. Dave, right. let's go back. Okay, one second. Let's go back. Let's go back. I want to see if there were other items under the tree because I'm not bought. I this it didn't even see. It sounds like he just bought it around the holiday. Price compact disc players are showing up everywhere this Christmas. Under Bob's dashboard, this high now are there items under the tree? Player fits any car under Debbie's pillow. With this portable CD, she can listen to music anywhere. Under our bookshelves, where we can all enjoy this Optimus programmable CD player with remote control. Put a sale priced CD player under your tree this Christmas. Only at Radio Shack. And they're at this technology store. Nobody can oh. No, there is another gift behind the car radio. The, the, behind the you're car talking about the red radio. box? It looks like there's another gift. Yeah. I think these are just, these are like bonus gifts for the whole family to enjoy. Now, coming in from the chat, Naive Adventures writes that she loves the shirt and the clean house. It was a very clean it was house. A very clean house. And I like the, the, the name Optimus. Yeah. I think this guy bought other Christmas presents. Okay. I, I, you convinced me. All right. Let's check out the next one. I'd love to. Lucie Vallée a la réponse pour ses devoirs de secondaire nice. 4. Another Robert French one. Les meilleurs biscuits au beurre de Sylvie. Well, we actually have to show a minimum number of French ones according to the new uh, Bill 90 whatever. Oh my god. Des répondeurs et des sans fil, des téléphones mode et des modèles amusants plus d'une large gamme de téléphones de marques reconnues comme Sanyo, Panasonic et AT&T. D'ici Noël, épargnez 20 dollars sur ce sans fil à 10 canaux. Oui, nous avons toutes les réponses. Radio Shack. Il faut l'avoir sous l'arbre. Wow, now, that lady was absolutely lovely. What lady? <laughs> I saw a, he a, a, a heftier guy. Yeah, heftier guy losing his hair. Then there was the lady by the fireplace on the phone. Now I'm done. Now, Raquel, what do you think about this one? Well, you know, I remember the Radio Shack logo like a Christmas tree. That I, I remember. I'm like, okay. Uh, man, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? What do you mean? <laughs> like, what, do you what are mean? we doing? What, what am talking? I doing? What are you talking about? What is this? What's what? Where, Radio Shack. Where have I gone? <laughs> what did I do to deserve We're this? We're recapping Radio Shack. <laughs> Look, I, um, I could barely see much and it was like all choppy, but I appreciate that I rec recognize the logo. Um, and I do remember when phones looked like this. I'm hoping we get more modern. Like, let's see a cell phone next. We probably won't for another few weeks. No. <laughs> now, we did see a cell phone on Monday, but it was a uh, a clunky phone. Clunky and chunky. Yeah. That's what I want to see. I want to see. I'm watching Gilmore Girls right now. I've never watched it in my life. And they have these big, fat, chunky cell phones. I'm like, man, I'd use one. I'd use one. These probably predate those phones. Lorelei. Yes, psychopath. Now, Dave, what did you think about that commercial? It was French and erotic. I don't like that the sort of heftier guy burnt his cookies. He did? <laughs> that, that bugged me. It made him seem like he's some kind of idiot. But uh, a heftier guy would know how to make cookies. Wait, yeah, you, you're making a point. Yeah, but maybe it's because the holidays are a stressful and busy time. Maybe he was taking care of other things and left them in the oven. I mean, it's possible, but I just I just feel like it's a little bit... Uh, fat phobic. All right. I mean, uh, I don't agree. I just think it's a busy time of year, and he's probably getting phone calls on the phone. You know what? You're right. I'm. Uh, you're I'm, projecting. I'm projecting. I'm getting heated. Maybe it's an issue I take personally. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna draw. Coming it. in from the chat, high score run rights. Dave standing up for men's rights. And you know, yeah. I always will stand up for men's rights. And uh, Raquel, let's go to you. You put your hand up, which is entirely unnecessary. No, I I want to be polite. Uh, I I lost the Twitch stream again. I have a question. Uh, Too bad when... Radio Shack's not open because you could buy yourself a bigger <laughs> screen. Yeah. Nuts. Um. Uh, the the woman whose legs were hanging off of the couch that James liked, was she talking on the phone with the guy yes. making cookies? Could have, maybe that's why he burnt the cookies. Was it his mistress or was it like a wife? Was it like a, he's dating a young woman? No, I, th I think I think they're young. probably in a in a, a normal relationship, and uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, let's go to the next commercial. 
Why is this happening to me? This is 90s. Oh, yeah. At Radio Shack, we've always made the latest technology easy to understand for your family. And now our CD-ROM computers make it easy to bring entire libraries to life. Experience the power of handy multimedia computers. Only at Radio Shack. Now. I really like that one. This one feels like the most 90s uh, so far. The computer is so powerful that it blows you away. I, I, Very cool. I feel like there's a sort of genre in uh, fiction. What's that now? A genre. All right. <laughs> Where it's like a uh, little kid goes on an adventure. And this felt like very Kind of like that movie Blank Check. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's funny you brought that up. I was just thinking about that movie. Yeah, me too. But uh, Blank Check or uh, Last Action Hero. Yep. Uh, and this felt very much in that vein. It's like these these kids, they're doing something normal, but uh, becomes sort of uh, action. Yeah. And the, and the action is it's a computer. Yeah. But it's windy. Raquel, what did you think? The you wind think these, is the uh, action. The, you think these young men grew up to be honorable guys? No, I don't. I All think right. they're in jail. No, I'm totally kidding. I love that commercial. I hope they're in movies. I hope they grew up to be Macaulay and his brother Culkin. Oh, Macaulay and his brother Culkin. I forget his name. Either his name is Culkin or Brother Culkin. I think you mean Kieran Culkin. Kieran. I hope that those two boys turned into the Hemsworth brothers. I wish them the best. That was a yeah. lovely commercial. Yeah. And the Hemsworth brothers, Chris and his brother Hemsworth. <laughs> his name is Liam. I know that because they're both very hot. Um, but I love them. Who's hotter, Raquel? These two young men or the Hemsworth brothers? Oh, the Hemsworth brothers. Chris specifically. What Dave, what you, as... Dave, what do you think? The Hemsworth brothers or these two young men? I'm going to go with the young men. I'm going to go with the Baldwin brothers. You got oh, Alex. Which two, oh. which two Baldwins? You got Alex. Yeah, which two, you that, got, that's yep. the guy who killed somebody. <laughs> uh, you got uh, Billy Baldwin. Yeah. Is uh, that the model's dad? You got Stephen Baldwin. Uh, the model's yeah. dad is Alec, I think. That's who was married to Justin Bieber? Yeah, no, that Alec is not her dad. It's one of the brothers. Oh, sorry, Maury. <laughs> 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 Look, we better go to the next commercial before a fight breaks out. Right. No, that's great. I'm going to give Dave all my money for that burn. <laughs> Was good. Give your family the world with Tandy Sensation from Radio Shack, the amazing multimedia computer that gives you a CD-ROM library, 16 million colors, and digital stereo sound. With a multimedia encyclopedia, wide horizons will open before your eyes. And there's voicemail with text-to-speech technology. Even beginners can access the future with Tandy Sensation. Anything else is just a PC. From Radio Shack, your Christmas electronics store. I like that they tagged it with a bit of Christmas at the end. Obviously, things are changing technolo technologically with this voice-to-speech program. And I thought the woman off the top was really lovely. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the name Sensations for a computer. It's, it's a little well, bit It was too, the 90s, though. It was the 90s. It was the 90s, but it, it's a little bit too uh, risque for me. Okay. Raquel, what do you think? I already forgot the the number. Uh, that many colors? Colors of how? It was like sixteen million colors. Did you not hear that? Yeah, yeah. So it's very easy to make a lot of colors. I guess yeah. if you put it that way, you're mixing all these things. But in the '90s, we had that. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was just yeah, a baby. Well, yeah, what the do I 90, know? '90s were a time of color. Oh, uh, these days, you got billions of colors. Yeah. Let's go to Jesus the next commercial. Christ. Ooh. There is an old woman who lives in a shoe. She plays electronic games when her work is through. Little Miss <laughs> Muffet makes curds and whey with her mini food processor most every day. Jack is nimble. Jack is quick. He flies choppers over the candlestick. Goldilocks with eyes so bright says smart pair teaches me just right. The three little pigs started a band. Their rap mic makes the music brand. For hundreds of toys and so much more, shop Radio Shack, your Christmas electronics store. Okay. Not not particularly Christmassy. Dave, you love that one. Take us through it. 
Uh, well, firstly, I felt like it was... I liked the uh, sort of reimagining of uh, that classic poem. <laughs> yep. And, uh, you know, a lot. all the toys seemed cool. Everyone, all the kids were having a good time. They were all kind of festive. Uh, it wasn't like Christmassy in the sense that it was focused on one family unit, but it was focused on a wide array of different kids enjoying a lot of f- toys that actually seemed fun. Uh, in a lot of different ways. Yeah, and that, kids I of think all it was a basketball too. game. That looked like the most fun game so far. I would have liked those choppers when I was a young kid that fly in the air. Uh, I feel like I would have liked the, the when they were Miss Piggy, they were doing that rock band thing when I was like a little kid. I feel like I would have liked that. My daughter would like that now. Uh, what else was there? Uh, there was a whole bunch of stuff. It was very fantastical. Raquel, what did you think of the, this one? I really like the voiceover guy. Classic, classic older guy voice. Classic older guy voice. I feel like that's Radio Shack's wheelhouse. Stick with it. Um, Mm -hmm. I love the writing. I thought that was chaos, but in a nice way. I'm like, oh, Mm -hmm. the guy writing this had fun. Mm -hmm. He had fun at work that day. Um, And also, yes, what Dave said, all the toys looked uh, uh, fun. It reminded me of looking at like a toy catalog when I was a child. Oh, that that, now that is a fun memory. That's a great thing. And I love, it felt like it was a period piece in a way. And then the, the, the picture caught up with the voiceover and I soon learned that everyone was just dressed in <laughs> costume. Yeah, very and, and, fun and playful. My one yeah. complaint oh. is that I didn't need the from 149 at the end. Why even say that? How many of those why? toys? It's a, are... it's, it's a hallmark of their of their commercials. Yeah, but how many of those toys are really cost one forty nine? You're going to be disappointed. How many of the RC cars are probably nine dollars? That's probably true, but you're going to go about one forty nine, James. That's nothing. You're going to go in. You're going to be disappointed. They're a business, and they have to entice people. I guess. What I can do my shopping for a dollar forty nine? I better go to Radio Shack. But, who, and but, who, but even the most dim witted observer is going to be like, well, not all those toys are one forty nine. Look, we better get to our final commercial of the night before things boil over here. I'm sorry if I am. Uh, no, I, I, I understand. carried away there. Yeah. I think it's cool that you're passionate about this. Radio Shack has unique gifts for everyone on your list this Christmas. They're stocking stuffers. <laughs> gifts just for fun. Breaker, breaker. Hey, want to go play? Magical musical gifts. So much more. Hundreds of unique gifts at Radio Shack, your Christmas electronics store. Now, as our final commercial tonight, I think what is very apparent here is we have absolutely burst into the 90s with this production, the style and look of the actors and performers, but it still has that that nice, warm Christmas glow to it. Yeah, there was sort of a 90, like... That 90s kind of uh, look of like having like these marker design cutouts in the background of people being in front. I feel like you saw that a lot with like Nickelodeon. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. I was just going to say it reminded me like uh, it felt like I was watching YTV or Nickelodeon. Canada's Canada's Nickelodeon. Canada's Nickelodeon. Right. Um, Yeah. Just like McGill's Canada's Harvard. Yep. Sure. That. And I'm going to tell everybody that from now on. Well, I believe, on. Aren't, aren't they sibling universities? No. We just call ourselves that. No, I think I think there is there is some connection between the two. Uh, you're wrong. Are you sure? Yeah. I think I might be right. All right. But again, I don't <laughs> want this to boil over. Raquel, let's go back to the commercials. Yeah. Should we watch another one? Why not? We're I mean, here. I, I, I mean, I like ending on the Christmas one. So one we're tending. more song. Oh, one you can't. One more song. One, one more, more song. song. All right. First time ever, we're getting a commercial encore. Let's get started. Oh, it's French again.
Well, we're ending on a low note here. <laughs> you didn't like that? I like what that. What I did like is I think this is the first time we've seen a commercial that is local to a city because they're talking about Sherbrooke. Sherbrooke, yeah, yeah, which is uh, just about uh, an hour outside of Montreal. Um, Coming in in the chat from Night Adventures, quote, that type of French is a turnoff. I, I agree with that. It's, it's interesting that they would make a commercial where the point of the commercial is that there's a really annoying guy working at Radio Shack. <laughs> No, I think I don't think he what was that? At, was he was he working at Radio Shack or was he annoying the man working at Radio Shack? But he had all the information about Radio Shack. Oh, I thought he was asking questions. Oh no, I thought he was giving answers. Now, it almost feels like the precursor to the Quebec show Les Tête à Claque. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, hey, wait, can you <laughs> Do you know Tête à Claque, uh, Raquel? I don't at all. What is it? the greatest let's watch blank check <laughs> as friends right I, I, now on this i show. don't think we're allowed to on on the channel no but we okay, can end that's on crazy. The, we can end on the trailer i didn't want it i wanted to end where we ended okay we can end now you want to just end it on an argument <laughs> play one more one more oh. okay play one more man that was hard to listen to this holiday well, it is a romantic, a romantic uh, language. Computer on sale for the incredible price of forty-nine dollars a month for twenty-four months with no interest. Hey, there's lots of good reasons to buy one for the family. Dolores could balance her checkbook with it. Little Jimmy can do his homework. I can put the money we save right into his college fund. Zero percent interest, twenty-four months, forty-nine dollars a month only at Radio Shack. Well, I thought it was interesting that the uh, the wife and the child were thinking about what they could do on the computer, and the dad was thinking about how he could exploit his son's uh, future academic success to buy a yacht. Yeah, I thought that was interesting too. It looked like um, that was like a classic commercial guy look. Yeah. Sort of a stocky, bald guy. Yep. Raquel, what'd you think of that one? I loved the shout out to Microsoft Paint and Solitaire. It looked like she was playing. I don't think it's a shout out to Microsoft Paint. No, then what was it a shout out to? It would be to? a separate paint program that's provided to you by the good folks the at Candy, Candy Corporation. Was, she, was the kid not thinking about paint? <laughs> not Microsoft Paint. This How is many a radio different paints were there well, well this is a radio shack product microsoft is a microsoft product they're selling they're selling the tandy trs wait a second you mean to tell me radio shack has their own brand i thought radio shack sold different brands the trs electronics. what's trs the tandy radio shack I you don't would, deserve You anything. would know if you watched the show, Raquel. <laughs> We've learned a lot over the past few yeah, weeks. You would know so. that uh, the Tandy Corporation purchased Radio Shack, and later on, Tandy got rolled into the Radio Shack brand. <laughs> Look, and I'll do better. And their are 10 times the quality of their uh, competitors, including yeah. IBM. Hey, I owe you both a huge apology. Uh, I have proven to just, you know, be a terrible guest on the At Home with Radio Shack show. That's not I what fucked up. Fun. No, it's oh. At Home with James. This is Radio Shack, a retrospective part five. Yeah. Wow. People had trouble with the name before. I can't wait for them to figure it out now. God bless. Thank Great you. Great Christmas, that's, guys. That's our final commercial of the night. Dave, let's do the check-in. How far have we gotten into the video? Where did we begin and where did we end? James, I'd like to congratulate mm -hmm. all three of us. <laughs> uh, because we did those extra commercials and we didn't stop the show, we managed to pass the one hour mark of this Radio Shack uh, commercial compilation. We are at one hour and eight seconds <laughs> <laughs> into the Radio Shack out of a two hour and five minute video. So, okay, so it took us five episodes to get an hour in. Now, if we still haven't thing, passed the halfway point. We have not passed the halfway point, but let's let's round up, if we will. If we were to do only Monday episodes, that would take us to completing this on Monday, August the 8th. What year, James? 2022. Okay. There are some variables because we've done five episodes, but that's 
five in the span of three weeks. So if we keep that pace, we'll end sooner. It would take us another three weeks. Well, we can discuss what a reasonable schedule would look like so that we can land this plane. Yeah. Now, Raquel, what did you think? This is your first appearance on the Radio Shack Retrospective. How do you feel? Well, I'm honored to be a guest, number one. Number two, wow. Uh, hey, I have a, an idea. What if we just kept going? <laughs> what if we did the whole thing tonight? What if we made this like a charity event? Let's raise money for something and get through this. I'm already in what I'm supposed to just recover from watching. Well, this is the thing. I think, if we, I think of... if we were to do something so bold, we would need to promote this. No, we need the, to promote fi it. the final hour coming in from the chat. A tw Someone thinks that it would take us 24 hours to get through the last hour. It's possible. Look, uh, I, I, I'm free. In terms of causes for raising money, I would like to purchase a Tandy computer after watching some of these commercials. So, and we can maybe donate it to kids in need. That's a true. TRS from 1988 <laughs> with 85 megabytes of memory, less than one yeah. MP3. Yeah, I, I, now I think there's something to this idea, Raquel, and I think this might require maybe a production meeting. One thing that we were talking about is maybe at some point there might be an afternoon episode this week. Dave, what do you think the likelihood of that is? It's very possible. This week, how many more days is that? Well, there's Thursday tomorrow and then Friday the day after Thursday. It would likely have to be tomorrow, but we would, we can discuss this. Why don't we have a production meeting after the show? All right. Well, that's it. We've done it. This is the fifth installment. Folks, stay posted to our Instagram account at at home with James to find out when the next episode is. It might be tomorrow. Who knows what's going to happen? What we do know for certain is that it will take place at least on Monday, which is the 11th of July. So thank you so much for being here. That's Raquel. That's Dave. I am James. You are you. We were here. Good night. Goodbye. Farewell. And of course, be well. Oh. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching At Home with James with your host, James McGee. Guests, Dave Kaufman and Raquel Belmonte. Bye-bye.